Okay, now to get started on building our form now that we're ready, um, what we do is we come over here to the toolbox on the right side of it, and you see where on the right side of the interface, and you see where it says forms? What you do is you just drag the form right under where it says comment and place it there and then hit save. And um, when you're putting something in the code view, it doesn't show in the design view until you hit save. So now we come down here and we should be able to find our form and what we want to do is uh, want to make sure we we're in the form actually in the form that's one of the biggest mistakes you can make is um, when you're building a form is to it's easy to slip up and make start entering stuff and you forgot you don't you're not even in the form anymore so what we do is you're in the form here and we're just gonna put some breaks in here to give us some breathing room and uh, if you're in the code view you can see here's the beginning of the form and there's the end of the form. So everything um, that we put in to build this form, we want to make sure it's in between those two. If not, um, it'll get things will get pretty weird. So once we have that done, we can start working in the design view now, actually. But just check back periodically in the code view. So what we'll do is, the first thing we want to do is uh, we'll see where it says text area. We want to just drag that over here. And this is actually our comments box. And this is where I think it's fun because you can just stretch it now. You just make it however you want to make it. And it's as easy as that. Now notice that this um, box, this comments box, uh, data entry box, is automatically titled text area 1. Now that's important to remain aware of that. That'll become uh, critical a little bit later. It's auto named that, text area 1. So this form elements auto named that. Then what we do, and this part's kind of actually easy, uh, we're going to make a submit button, and so that's called input submit, and we just drag that over here and pop it at the bottom there. And then what we want to do is this one input text. Now this is different from text area, this is called input text, and we drag that and put it a little bit lower. And then underneath that, uh, here's where um, we'll ask our question is, what is 9 plus 3? Please answer the question to prevent spam. And then we highlight it. Then we come back over here, make it, make it red. And then if we make it a little smaller, I still keep forgetting, missing that parent parenthesis, so there we go. All right, take care of that. Okay, now let's save this. We see there's that asterisk again. Okay, so now let's take a look at our comments box now that we've built the form and see what it looks like. You just um, hit F12, and there you go. That's a basic comment box and as I mentioned this could be renamed to anything you want you could put in names addresses phone numbers uh, it could be say comments suggestions feedbacks whatever you want this is just an example of a basic uh, form and uh, so the one thing I just want I wanted to do is just go in, let's go into our code view for a second and just double check a couple things so here's the beginning of our form and here's the end of the form and here's our text area that's the code for the box that's our submit button and this is the for the question that they answer it's uh, its name is text one that that was auto name there's a question and um, so these and that's some inline styling right there for the red font so the thing to note about this is that you could change this to any question that you wanted it's just that nine plus three that doesn't have to be that question it can be any question you you want it's just to try to prevent spam so now the next step is basically the the final step is we just need to put in the code to send this data so we've got a way to get the 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 data collected now we just need to get the data sent so um, how we do that is um, first let's go over to um, expression web and uh, we'll go to learn. I already have the code written out for you and uh, what we're gonna do is let me just go over this real quick see where it says text area 
um, this is a, what they call a super global variable and it basically collects the data that's been entered on the form the data that was in the text area of box one and assigns it to this variable called MSG these variables can be named anything you want there's rules about naming them but um, one thing that's weird about um, programming in code is it it basically reads from right to left so um, and the equal sign doesn't mean equal like you normally think it means it just means is a as a sign to so this data that's collected this variable collects this data from the box and is assigning it to this variable name then uh, you put in your email address here um, you know whatever that is wherever you want the mail sent and that email address is assigned to the dollar sign two symbol variable name and then whatever you want in the title of your email so like if you wanted to put comments or whatever that's assigned to the variable name subject then in our text box the text one that was the name of where you're supposed to type in the number uh, it's put into the the super global variable and then it pulls it out and uh, we assign it to this number so what we have here is that um, and this is just a basic if um, else statement so what it says is that if the number is 12 if the number is 12 then send the mail and then thanks for sending it if the number does not equal 12 or the question is not answered correctly it says did you answer the math question your comment was not sent so this is just very simple it's worth um, reading up on this there's a lot of places on the net that go over PHP this is just very very basic um, and this here is really what makes it all happen this is the called the mail function and it uh, it's on the it's a part of the PHP scripting language so it has to have at least these three variables uh, in it or it, for it to, to work and run so um, and then up here is where you assign the values to those variables and then you call the mail function um, so if you don't want to have the um, if you decide you don't really want that uh, spam question on there all you'd have to do is delete this and this if and that bracket and and all this just delete all that and all you'd have is the mail and echo and so you'd actually even be less code uh, than what's here but uh, like I said, I think it's smart to keep that question in there just to cut down on spam. I know we, we get spam every day, and once we put the question in, it really cut it down. So, But if you don't want it, just know you can, that, that test question, you can pull it out. So you just cut that code, cut this one line of code there uh, where the number variable is, cut the if, that bracket, leave mail and echo, and then cut everything else out. This and this has to remain. So I just want to take a minute to explain all that. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just all you have to do right now is highlight from here to here. Don't highlight these points. Just what I'm showing you right there. And click copy. And then what we'll do is we're going to come in here. And we're going to do uh, fi uh, fi file new page PHP. It creates a PHP page we're going to click this and save it as under just send let's save that and uh, now it's really important to remember that you're you want to work in the code view not anywhere else and you come up here between the body tags and this is kind of important you come up and you go insert PHP code block and then the cursor is automatically placed in between and then you right click and paste and you should have the code fits right in there for you so like I said you could change this once it's in here you can change this to whatever you wanted so if you wanted the subject to say uh, comment posted you could put that in there uh, you don't want to change these names because those uh, are what's in here right so if we come over here and look under code view here that's text area. If you change the name of this, you'd have to change the name over here as well. So uh, if you change the name text one, if you could you could call this anything you wanted to. Um, it's just a name. But if you change the name here, you'd also have to change the name here. So, um, but it should be all set to go. You put in uh, your email address here. So like uh, I could put in our email address if I wanted to. 